Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have a castle set. Set 8877 Vladex Dark Fortress from 2005. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build. This set is right around 925 pieces and comes with nine minifigures. And I've actually owned this set since it originally came out in 2005. I have a very vivid memory of going to Toys R Us with my family and my parents were like, okay, you can each have $25 to spend on something you want. And this set is a $100 set, but I was like 25 bucks off perfect. I'll use some birthday money and buy this set. So it was a very exciting day for me. I had gotten King Leo's castle in 2000, so this was really my first castle since then. And since I had King Leo's castle, I was looking for something a little bit different, and the other castle from this line felt fairly similar. It was still on that raised base plate. It still was a lot of like that blue and gray look. So I was really drawn to this because it was totally different than my King Leo's castle. And I thought that with the King Leo's line, the bulls got kind of the short end of the stick there because they never put a fortress or castle out for them. So I liked that the bad guys had a castle. So I was really excited to add something totally different to my collection. This would have been at a point that I was in middle school 
and honestly probably starting to age out of the playing aspect of Lego, but still super into building. So this is a really great fun build. But it does come with nine minifigures, like I said, so I'll go ahead and show you those first. Now there are names for each of these minifigures, so I'm gonna try and pronounce them the best I can. I was unaware until recently that these minifigures even had names, so it was kind of like a little bit of learning for me. But first up, we have this great guy. I loved that he was purple. It's totally different. Comes with a unique shield for each minifigure and a unique sword color. So also really liked that. And then each of the little visors also look a little bit different, which is pretty cool. And if I'm pronouncing it correctly, his name is Danju, D-A-N-J-U. So cool name there. Up next we have Jayko, J-A-Y-K-O. Love all the armor pieces they have for these guys as well. Just giving them each a unique color and feel I think is so different and I was obsessed with that growing up. Raskus liked the use of this green color. Really stands out against the, the red and the black of the set. We've got Santis, S-A-N-T-I-S, dark tan and red, it's pretty cool. And the, those last two there that didn't have the shields, it's because they have this little build that they put each of their shield on, I guess to ram the front doors. So little nice little build there. I think he's just the coolest looking minifigure and the black sword is really nice. And then you get three of these guys. And I really love the speckled black and silver armor and pieces they have throughout this set. Those were just brand new at the time to me and I thought they were awesome. So you get three of him. And so that's eight minifigures and then there's also a skeleton included. So there are some little builds before we get to the main structure. It comes with this little horse and then they have devised this little mechanism on the side for launching. So it works really well. So a great piece there. We've got another little horse build here with a boulder on the back. So also works pretty well. And I like the use of this kind of purpley blue color that they have for all of these sets. It's a little bit different than just the standard blue. And then the medium blue accents are really nice. I like these shields. They also come on, I think what Lego describes as very light bluish gray. So another kind of unique color throughout this series. We've got one more little launcher here. This one's a little bit different than what I was used to with like King Leo's castle and that line. It does use a similar style launcher there, but it's not the same mechanism as before. I'm not sure if I'm missing something, but that's about the extent of how well I can get it to work. So not quite, in my opinion, as good as the original, but still a nice little extra build there. So this build itself, breaks down into three sections, which is nice just for moving it and playability. It's just connected on either end by a Technic pin, so it doesn't take much to pull it apart. So it does bend at the corner on either side. These great patterned stone pieces on this end. The skeleton is hidden on this end as well, so this opens and the skeleton is on the other side there. There is another launcher on each side here. So again, rubber bands used to fling it. Works super well, really like that design. And these are all the original bands which came with the set in 2005. So they're holding up great for a set that is 17 years old. Has these great flags on either end. I was always a fan of these kind of plastic flags. They remind me of the ninja sets. So I really like those. I don't think they wear down quite as hard as fabric pieces can. I think they're a little more sturdy, which I always really liked. In the interior, we've got a spider. There are some scorpions hidden below. Staircase, not a ton on the interior, but mostly you're battling, so I don't think you really need a whole lot for that purpose. The center section here has these great giant 
sword looking pieces, which I think are technically bionicle pieces, but I like that they repurposed them for this. And then you've got these beautiful dark red doors here, which again remind me a lot of the ninja theme. Those are a really unique piece there. The drawbridge does lift, so just turning on the side, lifts it up using the chains, which I think is really cool. Not really seen that before. On the second story here, we've got a barrel that's full of little translucent neon orange cylinders that will dump if you twist a Technic axle here in the back. So I love that. I think that's really cool. And you can take those pieces from the third floor and drop them in and it will place them back in the barrel for you. So a little build there that draws all of the pieces down into that little barrel. I also really love this mask, which I think again is a bionicle piece, but in a speckled black and silver color. So really stands out. And I don't really remember another castle set using that before. So I think that's pretty unique. And then on this end, we've got another one of the launchers here. It's pretty similar to the other side, some decorative stone elements elements. And then on the interior, we've got one piece in particular that I really love, which is this little translucent medium blue piece. So that was found in a lot of Belleville sets. I think it's called a finial or a finial. Don't know how to pronounce it, but a lot of times in Belleville, it was in white. So really cool that they use that piece in this set as well. So given the size and age of this set, uh, as you can imagine, it's fairly expensive. I think it's starting around $200 in the US on BrickLink. But quite honestly, for the number of pieces you get and the number of minifigures you get, I don't think that's terribly outrageous. Obviously, I mean, it's expensive, but it's got tons of playability. It's a super beautiful design and it's got so many great pieces that make it a super fun build. So if you get the opportunity to get this set at a decent price, then I definitely recommend it. for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.